everything you've done. In spite of it all. Through it all. Through it all. I said through it all. You got to learn how to lean and depend on Jesus. No matter what, listen, man will let you down. Medicines will let you down. But Jesus said he's the rock. The rock of ages. And he won't let us fall. We got to lean on him. We got to depend on him. We got to trust him no matter the cost. Oh, praise his holy name. I said give God some praise in this place. Hallelujah. Turn your Bibles, if you would, with me to Matthew chapter 27. Matthew chapter 27. And while you're turning, you need to know that in the previous chapter, Jesus was betrayed mm -hmm. by somebody that slow up and down that they loved him. But they betrayed him. Yes, Lord. One of them denied him not once, not twice, but three times. He saw it coming. How many times? Somebody tell your neighbor say he saw it coming. He saw it coming. <laughs> See, what, what, what I love about Jesus is that even though he know who his enemy is, he pulled his enemy close and say, I love you anyhow. Don't care if you hate my guts, I'ma love you. And nobody will ever say that Jesus didn't love you. I'm gonna love you, Judas. I know you a crook, but I still love you. Jesus said, I know what you really are. When ain't nobody else looking. And I love you anyhow. Somebody say anyhow. Listen, I got, I'm, Jesus got that anyhow love. I know I messed up, God, but you love me anyhow. I know I slipped up again, God, in that, but, but you love me anyhow. I know I said what you told me not to say, but you love me anyhow. And people just don't understand how you can still run to him. And you just got to tell him he loved me anyhow. In spite of myself, he still loved me. In spite of myself, he still loved me. Matthew chapter 27. The title of the message is Press to Calvary. Listen, when Prophetess told me about this particular chapter, I got excited. And Prophetess, when you talk to her about the word, let me tell you something, a light come on in her eyes. And she began to tell you some things about the chapter that your mind hadn't even thought about. But I thank God for the word of God that's in our leader. Amen. And if you listen to the leader, God will tell you some things about you. My God. Y'all ain't got to say amen. But when we line up with the leader and do what we supposed to do the way we supposed to do it, we ain't got to worry about nothing else. My God. If she got to press in the cavalry, we got to press in the cavalry. And when I say cavalry, I mean to Jesus Christ. If probably that's got to press in her way to get to his face, how much more we got to press in our way? Oh my God. Somebody say press to Calvary. Ooh, Jesus had to press. I done been denied. I done been betrayed. He was in the garden and he was praying so hard he prayed till sweat drops of blood came from his body and was and he was saying, Father! Oh, y'all are y'all in here. He said, Father! If there's any way you can take this cup from me. Huh? He seen what was coming. If there's any way you can take this cup from me, but never let somebody say, nevertheless, nevertheless. Not as I will, Father, but your will be done. Oh, he had to press. Now the Father could have took it from him, but we'd all been lost. But he said, no, Father, not what I want to do. It's what you want me to do. 
Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 27. Are you there? Say amen. Amen. Let's go there together. It says early in the morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people came to the decision to put Jesus to death. What? They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. But see, he had to press his way through to Gethsemane. He had to press his way while he was in the upper room and, and, and he told Judas, now what you gotta go do, go do it now. Huh? And then he had to press his way to Gethsemane and he told Peter and, and James and John, y'all come on and pray with me for just a little while. And they got sleepy and went to sleep on it. So he pressed his way, came back twice. And they were sleeping on him. Oh, oh y'all are hearing this thing. God telling you when you're pressing your way to Jesus, sometimes everybody can't be there for you. You got to go a little bit farther by yourself. Huh? But Jesus had to press his way and humble himself. As the king of the universe, the creator of all things, the creator of these men that were judging him, he had to press the cavalry and keep his mouth closed. When, 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 when you really think about it, he is the one, Jesus is the one that knitted these men together in their mama's womb. Jesus, look at that them boy, I put you together. I know what you made up. I know when you sin, and I know what you y'all are hearing this thing today. But he was pressing to Calvary. Listen, just because they were high priests and elders don't mean they was high priests and elders of God. Huh? Because if they really was of God, they would have loved Jesus. If you knew my father, you would know me, what Jesus said, right? Listen, and they had to turn him over to Pilate. Oh, y'all missing this thing. Jesus had to press the cavalry in the, in the fact that they had to turn him over to Pilate because they didn't have no authority in the first place. Let me break this down for you. Listen, if you're going to accuse me and make a decision to put me to death, ain't nothing between you and me but air and opportunity and never all the air. Why the devil you got to take me cross town to Pilate? It's simple because you ain't got no power. Oh, y'all missed that thing. Jesus pressed the cavalry even though his captors did not have the power to do anything to him. Y'all catch that in a minute. Listen, verse, listen, verse 2. They bound him and led him away and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Y'all are hearing this thing. Jesus had experienced betrayal by Judas and denial by Peter. Y'all hearing this thing. He pressed toward the cross. He was pressing the Calvary. The Bible says when Jesus was, before he even got to Jerusalem, he told his disciples, the Son of Man must go to Jerusalem and be turned over to the Gentiles, be mocked by the elders and chief priests, and to be flogged and crucified. He saw it coming. But the Bible said he had his face set like a stone. You couldn't change Jesus' mind to save your life. Even when Peter said, no, Lord, no, this will never happen to you. He looked at that Peter and said, get thee behind me, Satan. You don't have the things of God in mind, but the things of the flesh in this world. When you decide to live holy for Christ, and you decide to press into Christ and press to the cross, everybody around you going to say, you ain't got to be so holy. You ain't got to go to church. You ain't got to do this. Why you giving up this for the church? And why you giving up that for the church? You look them in the eye and say, get thee behind me, Satan. You don't have the things of God in mind. Because only what I do for the Lord is going to last. Forever and ever and ever. Yeah. It's going to be tried by fire. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. The servant ain't greater than his master. Okay. Listen, verse 3 says, When Judas, uh oh, when Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned, uh -huh. 
he was seized with remorse and returned the 30 silver coins to the chief priests and to the elders. I have sinned, he said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. Oh God, have mercy. What is that to us? They replied, that's your responsibility. Hello, somebody. Listen, Jesus had to press through not only Judas's betrayal of him, but Jesus pressed the cavalry while he's standing there and he could see Judas back there trying to give back these 30 pieces of silver. Judas wasn't just a disciple. He was the disciple that carried the money bag. Oh, y'all, y'all ain't got that. Y'all, y'all pay attention now. He was the disciple that carried the purse. Listen, he, that, that purse took care of the 12 disciples and Jesus. He had the keys to the ATM. He had the ATM card yeah, back in the day. It was, a pur it was a purse. And Judas, from time to time, whenever he felt like indulging, got the sticky fingers and stick his hand down in the purse and put some in his pocket. And go, listen, I'm going to go over. Jesus know I need a spot there. I'm going to go over here. Hey, I'm done preaching. I'm going to go in here and get my back broke. <laughs> Jesus knew who Judas Jesus. was. He called Judas. The Bible said he saw Judas coming <laughs> before he even called him. <laughs> yes, Papa Oh, Lord. The Bible said Judas was. He was the one that carried the purse, but Judas was known as a thief. And now that Judas had done betrayed Christ, and he saw that the elders had condemned him to die, great remorse hit him. Listen, he knew, oh my God, I done messed up. I done betrayed the son of the living God. But I remember in a couple of chapters before, the Bible said that Satan had entered into Judas. Oh, y'all ain't hearing this thing. And the devil had Judas to go down there and betray Jesus. And now the devil that got you in a whole bunch of mess. And now that you're in a whole bunch of mess, that's when the devil slip out on you. You know, I just want to, I know I'm not supposed to say nothing, I'm supposed to rush. I'm not going to tell you, this, this is my chapter right here. I really would, that's why I should put it on. But you know, it's so funny how, you know, uh, you can walk with Jesus. Mm -hmm. You can talk with Jesus. Yeah. You can catch fish with Jesus. Yeah. But that don't mean you know Jesus. And it reminds me is that Judas was with Jesus all the time. Because oh, see, Judas got ahead of Jesus. Yeah. And he was stealing out of the purse. You know, like when y'all count offering and, oh, that, you know, all that. Oh, that. You know, that's what we got to double check. <laughs> and, uh, pass the method up in there. And, <laughs> and, and, you know, we got sticky fingers. And we got, uh, uh, he his tab. You know. She got juicy fingers. <laughs> Pastor Mary take it to the ATM. <laughs> and she got real fingers. <laughs> so I got to pray all the way until I get home and make sure. show. See, my job ain't done until the money is deposited. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah, because I can't rest until then. But it shows me yeah. that, you know, Judas, he was stealing all the time from Jesus, yeah. right? Uh -huh. So he thought, he thought, well, since I can steal from Jesus, uh -huh. I can sell him too. Come on, man. See what I'm saying? So he got way over his head. Yeah. Although he was walking with Jesus, uh -huh. he wasn't walking in obedience. Uh -huh. You can walk with the prophetess. Yeah. You come to the church. Yeah. But if you don't line up with the prophetess, yeah. you're going to try to portray the prophetess. Yeah. But how do you know no weapon form? Are you hearing me today? Yeah. And then when Judas tried to go and took, you know, this is how the devil gets you. He gets you all crazy. Yes. You're getting over, right? Uh -huh. And then when he gets you right where he wants you, he then he'll leave you. Leave you flat. He said, well, what we got to do with that? I mean, first y'all paid for this. Y'all don't want your money back? Uh -huh. Judas realized the remorse. And remember we were talking about that sin that God, you really forgive me? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Judas did not, even though he had remorse, right. he wouldn't hung himself. Yeah. So he still went to hell. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? 
So you got to be careful who's in your ear. Yeah. Trying to tell you that you're not supposed to line up with your leader. That devil is a lie. You come to this church, but if you don't line up, you're going straight to hell. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Oh, I'm going to preach on so I'm going to pass I, 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 I can taste it, Pastor Paul. I said, Pastor Mariah, I can taste it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> God. Then he pressed through Pilate. Yeah. Now he got to press through the crap, you know, the gamblers. Uh -huh. yes, Gambling up this and all this, and they beat him. My and God. And they whipped our Lord and said, uh -huh. if that don't bring us to tears, I don't know what will. Why? Because he took our punishment for yes, us. Yes, he did. Why? So we can have life. And you know what I love? Okay, and I'm done. What I love is when he was in the garden of Gethsemane and he was sleeping and he was praying. Yeah. And he was like, sometimes you got to go by yourself. Yeah. See, Jesus wanted help because he knew the cup that he had yeah. to carry. Oh, it was looking yeah. too heavy for him. Why? Because he was in the flesh. So he needed kingdom. But sometimes when that cup get heavy, ain't going to be nobody around. No, no, no. Jeez. Call so and so, no, they never gonna be busy. Okay. Come on, somebody. No, I'm gonna text somebody. Oh, no, they ain't even gonna answer your text. That cup gonna get so heavy. And you can think you can call Sister So and So and pray, but that person ain't even gonna be available to you. Why? Because God wants you to Himself. I need to hear from you today. And when Jesus said, Father, if it's your will, Hey, see, Jesus identified with us, but sometimes when we say, Father, I can't do this no more. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Yeah. How many of you got to the point where you say, God, I'm tired of this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Be real with yourself. How many of you say, God, yeah. I'm tired? Yeah. Jesus, I'm tired. Yeah. And you know, you don't come through for me right now. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. You got to do it, God. And then when Jesus, you know what I love? When Jesus said, He says, Not my will. Is that what He said? Not my, not, 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 not my will, but your will be done. And you know what that reminds me of? He thought about each and every one of us yeah. that is here right now. He thought about the deaconesses, the deacons, the pastor. He says, I
He talked with Jesus. He fished with Jesus. Now get this. He was one of the ones Jesus sent out in the two by two to cast out devils and heal the sick. He had power in the name of Jesus to tread on the devil and his servants. But he didn't really know Jesus. And on judgment day when we all is in heaven, God, Jesus is going to look at you and say, depart from me you worker of iniquity, I never knew you. My God. Just because you know my name don't mean you know me. <laughs> oh, y'all will catch that when you get in the car. Just because they know your name don't mean they know his power. Don't mean they know his salvation. Don't mean they know his deliverance. Jesus had to press the cavalry through the lip service of men. Ah. Listen, verse 5 said, So Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. Judas was so gripped by remorse by what he did to Jesus. And we should be so gripped by remorse by what we do to him too. But Judas was so hurt. He was so tore up because like Prophet has said, the devil had him crazy. Satan entered his body and went and betrayed Jesus. And right when the devil knew Judas had nowhere to go but down, he stepped back and watched him fall. The devil was there laughing as he was hanging the rope around his neck. The devil was there, right? The demons were there clapping. Yeah, we got him now. We got him now. Yeah. That's right. Put the rope on the tree. Put the rope on the tree. My God. It was hope until he hung himself. Oh, oh y'all ain't hearing this thing. Yeah. Even in the midst of our struggle, yes. instead of giving up and committing suicide yeah. over our failures, yeah. we got to die to the flesh. Yeah. We must died to the flesh. Listen, if you've never thought about suicide, keep living. That's right. huh. If you ain't ever thought about checking out, I doubt you telling the truth right now. Huh? You would think it's better to leave this world when you get ready. But God said, I got work for you to do. The reason some of us are still here in spite of everything the devil threw at us is because God said, I still got work for you to do. It's people for you to reach. Ain't nobody gonna hand out CDs like Mother Wallace. Ain't nobody gonna pray like Mother Ma. Ain't nobody gonna be like the deaconesses and the deacons. Ain't nobody gonna teach and preach this word like the pastors. But we was a hot mess in our days. But instead of giving up, God said, I got blow on you right now. I'm going to give you some breath of life right now. I, I don't want you to kill yourself. I want you to forgive yourself. Because if you come to me and ask for forgiveness, I press the Calvary. I died on a cross. So you didn't have to die for your... Oh, thank you, Jesus. The word of God says in verse 6, the chief priest picked up the coins and said, it's against the law to put this money into the treasury. They sure was thinking about it. Since it is blood money. huh? So they decided to use the money to buy the potter's field as a burial place for foreigners. That is why it has been called the field of blood to this day. Huh. Then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. They took 30 silver coins, the price set on him by the people of Israel, and they used them to buy the potter's field as the Lord commanded. Jesus pressed the Calvary even though his own people, the people he had created, the people he delivered from Egypt, the people he delivered from Pharaoh, the people he delivered from all the kingdoms of the Canaanites, the Jebusites, and all the other ites. They sold him for a mere 30 pieces of silver. Oh, oh, y'all are hearing this. See, that's a press to Calvary. 
when you come from heaven and your throne and the foundation of your throne is righteousness and justice. That's pressing the cavalry. When you walk on streets of gold and they only say you worth 30 pieces of silver, that's pray all they hearing this thing. When you create, when you say in your word, the silver is mine, the gold is mine, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, that's pressing to Calvary. He could have stopped there in a moment and said, what, only 30? Wait, what's wrong with y'all? Do you know who I am? And that's the problem. They didn't know who he was. They didn't receive him at the time of his coming. Verse 11, meanwhile, Jesus stood before the governor. Somebody say he stood. He stood. A king never bows down to nobody. And most people got before Pilate and bowed down and got down. Jesus stood before the governor. And the governor asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Yes. It is as you say. Jesus replied. <laughs> Listen. When he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate asked him, don't you hear the testimony they are bringing against you? But Jesus made no reply, not even to a single charge, to the great amazement of the governor. <laughs> Listen, Jesus had to press the cavalry, but he never denied who he was. Jesus never once said that he was a good man. Jesus never once said that he was just a teacher or just a preacher. Oh, y'all know the things I'm talking about. People like to say that about Jesus. But, but Pilate asked him, are you the kingdom of the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, yes, it is as you say. Are you hearing me today? Jesus never denied who he was and his life, ministry, and those lives he saved healed, delivered, they spoke more loudly than any charge that anybody could put against him. It's funny how Jesus answered the one that had authority, Pilate, but when the Jews began to, and the elders began to accuse him and hurl things at him, he didn't even say a word. He said, I done been in Israel, I done went to every town in Israel, every village in Israel, and if what I did in Israel ain't enough to speak for y'all, I ain't got to say nothing. If you want to accuse me, go ask the little girl I raised from the dead. Go ask the two blind men that said, son of David, have mercy on me. If you want to know anything about me, go let the works I've done speak for me. When you live holy, as Jesus did, you ain't got to say a mumbling word. Amen? And when we have that kind of confidence like Jesus had when he was pressing the cavalry, it took the utmost confidence. These people making charges against him and killing, and all he did was sit there and keep quiet. And when we have that kind of confidence, even our enemies are amazed. How are you so calm? in the midst of this storm. Because <laughs> this world, this joy I have, <laughs> the world didn't give it to me. <laughs> and if the world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. Listen, we gotta be careful who we allow to make our joy complete. Because if they can make you happy, they can make you sad. We gotta stop giving power to the devil. And we gotta press to the cross like Jesus pressed to Calvary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 15. Huh. Now, it was the governor's custom at the feast. Why are you always eating? <laughs> Jesus about to get crucified and beat and whipped. He'd have been punched and abused, going to Caiaphas and all. They slapped him and stuff. And, and now y'all finna eat. <laughs> It was at the it was the now it was the governor's custom at the feast to release a prisoner chosen. Somebody said chosen. chosen. This is a key. Remember this: to, to release a prisoner chosen by the crowd. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner, not notorious B I G, <laughs> but notorious B R A B B, Barabbas, notorious prisoner called. 
Barabbas. So when the crowd gathered, Pilate asked them, which one do you want me to release to you? Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? Y'all hearing this? Are, are you hearing it? For he knew, Pilate knew, it was out of envy they had handed Jesus over to him. Wow. Tell, listen, tell your neighbor, say they were jealous. They were jealous. They were jealous of Jesus. When you are effective for God, you can expect some jealousy. When you're effective in the kingdom and doing the job and working the kingdom like the kingdom is supposed to be worked, you're going to experience jealousy from the prophetess or not. Y'all are hearing this thing. Everybody's not happy that you got elevated. Everybody's not happy that you're doing an excellent job in Christ. We should be happy, but everybody ain't happy. Some folk want to see you fall. And some folks stick their foot out to make you fall. Oh, y'all ain't got to say amen. No, we ain't never dealt with nothing like that. So some folks, some folk, some folk try to make you get in trouble with your leader. Put you on a bad report. When you know it wasn't your fault in the first place. But because you tried to be in unity with somebody else. Come on now. Miss, oh, y'all ain't got to say amen Come to this thing. Now, but I'm here to tell you today, I'd rather be in line with my leader and walk in a solo walk for Jesus, knowing I'm pleasing God. I don't care if you can't stand me. As long as I'm pleasing the Lord and my leader is happy, I'm all right. Amen. Oh, y'all catch that when you get to the high. Listen, he knew it was out of envy they handed Jesus over to him. While Pilate was sitting on the judge's seat. What? You the judge? The ju you sitting on the judge's seat. And, and you judging the judge of the universe. How the devil can you in your flesh judge the God of the universe in the flesh? While Pilate was sitting on the judge's seat, listen to this. His wife sent him a message. Don't have anything to do with that innocent man. Did, did y'all hear the message, right? Pilate, look at look him. Look, Pilate. I said, Pilate, you better listen to me right now. I ain't gonna cook for you if you don't hear me. I throw this bread and meat in the garden. Don't you have nothing to do with that innocent man. For I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him. This woman ain't met Jesus ever. She never set eyes on him. But the Holy Ghost was at work saying, you better tell your husband to do the right thing. How can he know? Even though you ain't got nothing to do with it, God will speak to your spirit and say, you better not put your hands on that man of God or that woman of God because I will deal with you being ever so severely. And people don't understand why when they come to you, you're going, no, no, you go right on here. <laughs> Did you ask prophetess? Amen. That'd be the question of the day. And if you ain't asked her, don't ask me. Amen. I know how to stay in my lane. I stay in between the, 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 the two little lines. That line right there and that line right there. I ain't going to the left and I ain't going to the right. You the one zigzagging, you about to get pulled over. They got to say amen. I know I'm talking the truth today. You know, I just don't want to say something that came off yeah. <laughs> No, 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 I'm not, not going to say that. But what I'm saying is that, you know, especially when you know the truth yeah. and you know what they're doing is wrong. Yes. And if you don't see, that woman had to tell her husband. Yes. That, that woman had to tell her, you better leave that man alone. That man ain't did nothing to nobody. He ain't did nothing to us. I don't know what they got going on. I don't know who the people pumping you up and gassing you up out there. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night trying to make you think you some kind of king. That's the real king. You got that. You know, and, and it's, it's like, it's like you better leave that person alone. Yeah. When you know that person ain't did nothing to you, and then there's something, oh Jesus Lord. Can you imagine? Well, and, and you know, and you so and you won't try to do something bad, you better speak up because if not, that person's sin gonna be on you. Yeah. Now what 
after she told Pilate what, what God wanted her to tell, she was done. She was done. Her hands was clean. She done. Her hands was clean. So yeah. whatever her husband did was 100% his business. Yeah. Yeah. But if she would not have said that, because see, you notice how Pilate, he flipped the script. Yes, he did. He said, well, y'all do whatever. I, I, I wash my hands. I'm done business, no. My wife done told she, you. My wife done told me, too. She had to look at her eyes. I don't. My wife don't even talk. My wife don't, don't even talk to me. <laughs> She ain't spoke to me in three months. She done told me, though. She had to do that in the city. Gotta be careful. When you know to do what's right and you don't do what's right, God's gonna hold you ever so accountable. That means even speaking up, prophetess. Even speaking if up. If you don't speak up. You better speak up. You better tell you better keep your mouth up with a man or woman of God. Ooh, it's quiet. There's some believers up in here be talking and putting their mouths on the man and woman of God. Y'all just thinking, y'all just so loose with your lips. But it's going to come a time when God's going to cut your tongue out. But, but, but don't you have nothing to do with the prophetess. I know she's sick. Don't you have nothing to do with the prophetess. Lord. Better leave your mouth. Listen, you better keep. First of all, if you ever come to me and talk to me about prophetess, because you don't know what prophetess, how she pray for me in the midnight hour. Listen, y'all ain't got to say, man. How many know prophetess pray for us? Amen. How many know she keep us in lifted up in prayer? Listen, if it hadn't been for prophetess telling us the truth about ourselves, where would we be right now? Lord have mercy. Uh, scary. Amen. Don't mean you got to like it when she said. And it don't mean that it feel good all the time when she tell you. But God knows it's sure enough good for us. We thank God for it. Amen? Listen, she said, don't have anything to do with that innocent man. For I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him. But, somebody say but. but. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas. And to have Jesus executed. Pilate was ready to let Jesus go because Pilate knew Jesus was innocent. Pilate knew Jesus ain't did nothing to wrong. He just stepped on a bunch of them so-called holy toes. Yes. I say holy toes. Y'all know the people that got them, them toes that if you step on that bunion just right, they're going to feel it for a week. But, but it was a spiritual thing. Jesus called the spade a spade. Jesus told everybody everything about themselves up front. Amen? Amen. Listen. So, verse 21. Which of the two do you want me to release to you? Asked the governor. Barabbas, the answer. What shall I do then with Jesus, who is called Christ? Pilate asked. They all, somebody say all. all. They all, somebody say all. all. They all answered, crucify him. My God. Hello, somebody. They all answered, crucify him. These are the same people, these the same people not yet three weeks ago when Jesus was riding on a donkey coming into Jerusalem. These the same ones hollering, Hosanna. See, but he had to press the cavalry. He was pressing when it was on it. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed be the son of David. Hosanna in the highest. Praise the most high God. These are the same people that were hollering Hosanna and now yelling crucify. Hello, somebody. They was hollering Hosanna and now they yelling crucify. Like Prophetess said, we got to be careful who we let gas us up. We got to be careful who we let boost us up and blow smoke. Oh, you so great. We know that. Listen, I know who I am in Christ. And what you said is a bald-faced lie. We got to know who we are in Christ Jesus. We got to know where we stand in Christ Jesus. We know we ain't no great this, that, and the other great edifice preacher, teacher. No, that, that, if it wasn't for Jesus, we'd be nothing. Yes, Lord. I know I'm not worthy to stand behind the pulpit, but God. But God. I know I'm not worthy to teach his word, but Christ. But God. I know I'm not worthy to pray in his name, but the blood. 
The blood makes me worthy. The blood makes me holy. The blood allows me to preach. The blood allows me to teach. The blood changes me from the inside out and tells the truth about me. It ain't because you said it. It's because God said it. And if God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. You better say that. They all hollered crucified. You was hollering Hosanna a couple of days ago. Where the Hosanna at now? Huh? Pilate said, what? That, that was the most intelligent question I read in this whole chapter. Why? What crime has he committed? Asked Pilate. But they shouted all loud, crucify him. When Pilate saw he was getting nowhere, but instead the uproar was starting, he took water, washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent of this man's blood. <laughs> he heard his wife's voice. She was standing over there in the corner looking at him. Like, you better not do nothing to this man. It better not come from your mouth. I'm innocent of this man. Y'all don't understand. I got to go home with her. Okay. <laughs> I got to go home. Y'all going over there across town. I live right here and she stayed right there with me. Potter said, I am innocent of this man's blood. He says, it is your responsibility. It's your responsibility. Potter said that and listen, all, somebody say all. All. All the people answered, let his blood be on us and on our children. He had to press the Calvary. But these people don't know what they spoke. Okay. Listen, the blood of Jesus will eternally be for you or be eternally against you. When they said, let his blood be on us and our children, what's going on in Israel right now today? Because you chose a murderer instead of the author of life, there has been nothing but terrorism and murder and hatred and evil and wars in Israel from that day to this day. Because you said, let his blood be on us and our children. Why are you getting cheering looking like, why are you cursing us? We fall. I, I can't even talk. I ain't even hear you. Why are you cursing me? That's what these parents do. Them children probably would say, no. They did that. God know they made us said it. Now it's on y'all. Okay. From that day to this one, it's been nothing but wars and terrorism, people bombing, rockets falling, missiles coming, people blowing themselves up. And where is it all happening? In Israel. From this very verse, you, your mouth has the power of life and death is in the power of the tongue. You got to be careful what you speak, especially when you're speaking it about Jesus the Christ. I wanted to say, yeah, that's so true. However, however, somebody say however. However, 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 but there's going to be, uh, I think it's... Uh, Zechariah chapter 12. What, yeah, Zechariah chapter 12. Yeah. But there's also going to be 100. And 44,000. 44,000. 12,000 from each tribe. That's right. That's going to go witness to the Jewish people. That's right. And they will be restored back to God once again. Thank one day. Lord. And God said, one day. One day. One day. And, and Jerusalem is so important. Yes. And it's so significant yes. that it will never leave this earth. Never. It will never leave this earth. Never. It may be destroyed with fire, yes. but then it got to come down from heaven. Come on, it got to come down from heaven. The eternal capital. It will live in the, in the new, new Jerusalem. Jerusalem. You better preach it. And if you don't know, I know. know. <laughs> Verse 27. <laughs> listen. Listen. This is what is really important. Pilate set out a choice for the people of Israel. And the same choice is still being offered today to you and to me. We can choose Jesus 
the author and creator of life and all things, or we can choose Barabbas, a, re a rebel. And rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. My God. Mm. Huh. In Joshua, he said, rebellion is the sin of witchcraft, and do not suffer a witch to live. Choose ye this day. Whom you will serve. Whom you will serve. Is it going to be God? Yes. Or is it going to be man? -made? Choose this day. I set before you today life and death. Choose life. It's a simple choice. He's been given this choice since the garden. He told Adam, he said, you can eat any tree in here. In every tree, including the tree of life. But that one right there, that's death. Don't touch it. I set before you today life and death. And death. Come on now. Adam chose death. Rebellion. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. We can choose Jesus or we can choose Barabbas full of rebellion, which is the sin of witchcraft and murder. Our choice will linger throughout this life and throughout all eternity. Amen. Verse 27. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium. This is where it gets sad, y'all. Mm. And the praetorium is this great big old room. It's a huge, like, colonnade building. Circuit. Praetorium. And they gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. That means he was surrounded. His enemies had surrounded him. They stripped him. So that's a shame. They shamed him. Stripped him naked and put a scarlet robe on him. Okay. Huh? Y'all hearing this? Yeah. But he was pressing the cavalry. Yeah. Okay. And then twisted together a crown of thorns. Jesus. And set it on his head. Oh, y'all ought to oh, praise God. God for that right there. Oh, y'all ought to praise him. Because he pressed the cavalry through the thorns. Why should you praise him? Didn't the most high God say in the garden, he said, Adam, the ground will only give you thorns and thistles from now on. It will never yield to you, you his strength. Well, when they took the thorns and they twisted it into a crown and put it on his head, those that's in Christ Jesus can get the strength of the earth. Y'all ain't hearing this thing. Because the curse was on his head and off of our head. My God. You never think of these things. But that's why you got to study your word. Yeah. My God. Amen? My God. They put a staff in his right hand. And then they knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, king of the Jews. Wow. Jesus could have killed them all right there. With a, with a word. With a thought. True. With a word. They could have dropped dead. And, and, and I know he had peace about it because he knew one day every knee got to bow. Every and every died. tongue got to confess from their heart, Jesus Christ is king of kings. And Lord of Lords to the glory of God the Father. Verse 30 said, they spit on him. Lord. Y'all know how they go. They go he, he. They spit on him. <clears throat> and they took the staff. And they struck him on the head. Again. And again, they were tortured. They were beaten, spitting on him. Mock him. And after they mocked him, now listen at this. They took off the robe because they felt like it was too good for him. And put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. Are you hearing this? As they were going out, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As they were going out, they met a man from Serene named Simon. And they forced him to carry the cross. Oh, God. Now, I did the study on this, and I know Serene is in Africa. Yeah. It's in a place called Libya today. Jesus, yeah. Simon was just as black as the ace of spades. <laughs> now, you want to talk about black people, Israelite, let me tell you something. Simon was from Africa. And they forced him to carry the cross. Jesus. Simon thought that he was doing Jesus a favor, but didn't know it was Christ carrying the cross for real. It was the unseen cross. 
That was the heavy one, not that one. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. Verse 34, there they offered Jesus wine to drink. Uh-oh, Jesus drank wine? Mixed with gall, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. If anybody tell you Jesus drank wine, you take them to this verse and let them know Jesus refused to drink any wine. When they had crucified him, what do you mean? When they had took the nails and they pierced his hand and he was stretched out and then they put his feet together at the bottom of the cross and they put one on top of the other and they took a nail, a long one and it went down through the and it went through the bones in his feet. Through the soles of one foot and then the top of the other foot and through the soles of that foot and then into the wood. And they had to beat it into the cross so it didn't move. They divided up his clothes. So Jesus up there on the cross, half naked, beat, flogged. They took that whip and whipped him all night long. And they divided up his clothes, casting lots, and sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. What was his charge? Was it murder? Was it killing? Was it insurrection? His only charge is this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Two robbers were crucified with him. Somebody said two crooks. They were two crooks. Two robbers were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him. The same ones that hollered Hosanna, shaking their heads and saying, you who are going to destroy the temple in three days and build it in three days, save yourself. Y'all know how people get? Come down off from the cross if you are the son of God. Y'all know how folk get? You say, you say, do this. Where your God at now? Where your Jesus at now? In the same way, the chief priests and teachers of the law and the elders mocked him. He saved others. Oh, y'all, oh, this is good right here. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross and we will believe him. She the prophetess. She healed others. She prayed for the sick and they got well. She prayed for everybody else and they got better. Now she said, if she's so much the prophet, that's why she can't heal herself. Oh, it's quiet in here right now. Well, I'm going to let that marinate in. Sometimes you gotta let it marinate. Okay. Season the meat real good. Yeah. 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 You may not have said it or heard nobody say it, and I hope if you hear somebody say it, you cut them with the word of God. She the prophetess. She got all this power. Where her healing at? Let her heal herself, and then I believe she's a prophetess. My God. You ain't got to believe she's a prophetess. Come on now. You, you ain't got to, but I know for myself what God has given me. Hey. I see for myself the life she lived at the house, in the car, in the stuff, wherever she go, I see for myself. My and God. if you don't believe it, that's on you. That's your responsibility. But I don't care. I know my Redeemer lives, and I know my leader living holy, and if I just line up with the leader, everything. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Gotta line up. And if you don't line up, you need to get in line and get out. My God. Ain't nobody blocking the door. Ain't they lock on the door. 
Hello. Hello. Now we love you, and we'll do anything we can to help you in Christ. But if you don't want to line up, please go. Amen. Love you in Jesus' name. Gonna love you when you go. Hello. Gonna love you when you leave. Yeah. Gonna pray for you when you're out of here. Right. And, and if you come back, you gotta come back correct. Come on now. Amen. Yeah, I said it. Oh, y'all know that thing be killing you on the inside. You got the love the enemy. You got the love. I don't want to do that. Jesus. You love them. You want to go. I said go love. Love somebody. <laughs> Sound just like prophetess. Yeah, yeah. I said go love them and love somebody. Yeah. You want to be with Jesus. Yeah. I said you get over that. You get over. I'm gonna tell you. Lord have mercy. You be half hearted, honey. You know? <laughs> You be shaking when you're hugging. They think it's the Holy Ghost. It's rage in the room. It's shaking. Don't hug me if it ain't How come I got the line up? You ain't got the line up. I got the love of you. Damn. I don't want to go. Jesus. Witnesses. They testify. They ain't a witness. Verse 40. Verse 40. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. I know I'm telling the truth from the heart. You got to admit it, but it's the truth. It is what it is now. It's in the room today. I'm here to tell you it's in the room today. Listen, I may not like it, but I got to love you through it. I, if, listen, I'm not going to let you keep me out of heaven because I got an issue with some stuff you did. I don't care what you did. I love you even though I may not like it. Hallelujah. I got to love you. I got to love you. It's a mandate. It's a call on my life. I got to love you. Even though you done talked about me. You done drug my name through the mud. You still talking about me. You hoping to see me die. But I got to love you. You done left me. And though when you left, I was going to fall. But God kept holding me up. Let them know, Pastor. The devil. I got to love you. I love you because you ain't doing nothing but making me draw closer to Jesus. The more you treat me like that, I'm going to run up to him. And the more I run to him, the more he tell me, go back and love that person. Go back and love that person. I don't want to go. Go back and love that person. That's the one that's going to keep it, make you more like me. That's the one that's going to bring the Christ in you out of you. Go back there and love that person. They treat me so bad, go love them. They talk about me so bad, go love them. Let that be fertilizer for you. They say they love me, treat me like they hate me. I say go love them. I don't want to go love them. I don't want to go Y'all know how we do. We go to power and kick in the feet. I want to go make me go down here. Now I got to go. And then you see it like, hey. That's fake. That's fake. Praise the Lord. That's fake. Glory to God in the highest. That's so fake. God that is to too fake. The devil is this. Gabriel, who is that? I don't know, Lord. The other one was saying he ain't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. If it's not genuine, I don't want it. Verse 43. The chief priests and elders in verse 43 say he trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. Even in the same way, the robbers who were crucified with him, the two crooks on the cross, two crooks on the cross, crucified with him, also heaped insults on him. And I close with this. Prophetess, trust in God. 
Let God take her out of this fire. If she was really in God, she wouldn't be going through this right now. Hello, somebody. If she was really a prophetess. Oh, it's quiet. Yeah. I'm going to close this Bible right now. If she was really a prophetess, she wouldn't have to go through this test. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. if, if, if she, let, if God, let God rescue her. Why we got to pray for her? Why we got to lift her up? Ain't nobody they lifting me up. Because you ain't never prayed for nobody else. How can you expect somebody else to pray for you? Come on now. Hello, oh, it's quiet in here. I don't know who she thinks she is. She always doing stuff to get the attention. No, she ain't doing nothing to get the attention. God is rescuing her. And listen, where you won't pray for her, God has sent 10 people that will pray for her. When you won't lift her up, God has sent an entire church to lift her up. When you won't pray her strength, God said, I'll give you strength from the bowels of heaven itself. When you won't praise him for her. God said, I'll let the little praise come in here and fight a battle. I'll put an anointing on the co-pastor and have her lose her mind in here so that the praises go up and the blessings begin to come down. And while he's at it, he said, I'm going to send divine favor. I'm going to send divine favor. So you're going to know that a prophetess has been among you. She's going to be blessed when she come in. Blessed when she go out. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed in the country. Blessed come all y'all in here in this thing. I'm going to bless her so much. Blessings going to be chasing her down. But listen, listen, listen. And just because it's your time, just because it's her time, don't mean your time is coming. Don't mean your time ain't coming. But when it's your time, I want you to know the same way you prayed for her. The same way you lifted her up. The same way you prayed her strength. Somebody else gonna be praying for you. God said, I got a ram in the bush to stand in the gap for you. We all gonna have a time when we gonna need somebody to pray for us. So let's practice it now and pray. For those that need it, stand to your feet. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the fire. Thank you, Lord, for the fire. Thank you for answering prayer. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for showing your way, God. Everybody stand to your feet. Listen, Jesus was pressing to Calvary. He had to press through all of the hosannas. He had to press through all of the betrayal, all of the denial, all of the accusations, all of the questions. And then he had to press through all of the insults. And if the servant ain't greater than the master, we got to press through the same thing. Everybody say they love you. <laughs> Don't really love you like they say. Anything. But God has given us a, a way out to love our leader. To love Christ first. But he gave us a physical representation of a leader because Christ is God. But he said if you line up with the leader, you'll be pleasing me. So pray our strength in the Lord that we all line up with the leader. Amen. 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 Hebrews 13 and 7. Amen. Amen. With every head bowed and every eye closed. We just need to pray this prayer and pray it anew. Because we're coming up on Resurrection Sunday, Lord. So, Father, we just want to give you our hearts 
every time we can. So everyone repeat this prayer after me. Say, oh God, oh God I come to you, come to you in, the Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me, Lord of, all of, my sins. of all of my sins. Cleanse me, Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. All I confess, I confess with, my mouth with my mouth that Jesus, that Jesus is, Lord. is Lord. I believe, I believe in, my heart in my heart that God, that God raised Jesus Christ, raised Jesus Christ from, the dead, from the dead just for me. Just for me. Come, into Come into my heart. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus forgive my sins, forgive my sins and, save my and save my soul. Write my name, Write my name in, the in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord for, waiting for waiting on me, because right now, I am, I am saved, saved, born again, born again and, going and going to heaven. In Jesus' name, Jesus name we, pray. we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. And give God praise in your name. Stretch your hand toward the prophetess for the blessing. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give us all the strength to press to the cross as Christ pressed to Calvary. Help us, Lord, to live holy, to love one another fully, and to never, ever be disobedient to you first and to our leader. We thank you, Lord, and we love you. Now give us traveling grace and mercies, Father, as we are about to depart this place, but never your presence. We thank you in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Love somebody in here today.